Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to import a WireGuard VPN connection to enable and to disable it and this in, in my case, Linux Mint 21. But you can also do this on Ubuntu 22.4 or later. In Ubuntu 22.4 and Linux Mint 21 there isn't a graphical way to handle WireGuard connections this feature will come in Ubuntu 24.4 and Linux Mint 22. Until then, I show you today the best way I would do it. And if a later Linux Mint version appears or Ubuntu version, then you can go to network settings, click on the plus icon and select then your WireGuard or import from file. At the moment, this doesn't work with WireGuard connections. So yeah, we have to do it by our own. And um, for that, I'm opening up my file manager and open up my downloads folder. In this, I have my WireGuard config. You can get this off your router or from your VPN provider. So with this config downloaded, we can start. I right click my folder here and select open in terminal. And in this one, we have to put in a simple command, which is a bit long. So yeah, I put you this command and every other commands into the video description. I type in NM client that stands for network manager client. Then I type in connection import type WireGuard file. And then our file name, in this case, it is WireGuard underscore config.conf. Perfect. I enter this one and we see now connection WG config successfully added. Perfect. And now your VPN is up and running and configured. You don't have to do anything more. We can check this by typing in IP space A and here we see our WireGuard config and I see my IP address. This works quite good. So, but how is it if we want not to be connected at the whole time? At this moment, it doesn't work graphically either. That's a bit annoying. So we also don't see our VPN connection here in our menu down there. We can see it a bit in the network settings. Here we see WireGuard and something like this, but that was it. <laughs> so um, yeah, and if I deactivate it and reopen network again, then this WireGuard also is gone. So you can't handle it graphically at the time, but how to do that in the terminal? There are two easy commands. Uh, these are nm client connection. And in this case, I want to turn off my VPN. So I select nm client connection down and then w underscore config. So it is disabled now and I can also enable it and turn on again by network manager client connection up wg config. So yeah, this is quite easy. These are only two terminal commands, but yeah, these are terminal commands. So um, how to get a maybe a better workflow to disable and enable these um, uh, VPN connections. Um, I go into my personal folder and select create a new folder and I'm creating a new folder called programs. In this folder, I select right click, create a new document and I call this VPN up in my case and put a file ending sh after it. I open up this file with my text editor and here I'm typing in the following lines. At first, hash exclamation mark bin bash that is only for our Linux system a description that this is a bash script. And then we can copy and paste this command into our text editor. So I select copy here and paste it in here. Perfect. Then I save the current file and then we are almost finished. I right click this file, select properties and in permissions, I allow executing file this file as program. I select a close and um, yeah, then we can just double click it and I select run and then 
our WireGuard connection is up in this case and I can just right click this one, copy this one and paste it in here and rename it to VPN down.sh. There we have it. And I open it with my text editor again and I change the up to down in this case. I save this one and now if I double click this one and select run, then our VPN is off. And if I double click this one and click on run, then our VPN is on again. So this is quite easy. It isn't the best way to handle it graphically, but yeah, <laughs> I hope it's okay for you in this handling. And until the next Linux Mint or next big Ubuntu version, you have to handle it like that. But after that, then we can also handle it very easily in our normal graphical interface and then I think it's also okay. But yeah, that was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.